Welcome back aliens, my name is Levin Reddy and let's continue with the series on Python. Now till this point we have worked on arrays and we are happy you know because we know how to work with array, we know how to insert values, we know how to fetch a value. But here's the thing, when we talk about arrays, we have different types of arrays available. Example, the first one is single dimensional array and second one is multi-dimensional array. Now when you say single dimensional, it means you have a one row. Right, so you have one row and multiple columns. Example, the array which we are working with. So it has one row and multiple columns, right? You can see we have multiple columns there. But what if you want to work with multi-dimensional array, which simply means you'll be having multiple rows and multiple columns. When I say multi-dimensional, it can be 2D, which is two-dimensional, it can be three-dimensional, it can be four-dimensional, right? So it can have multiple dimensions here. Now the way you can represent that is something in this way. So when you say single dimensional array, this is how it looks like. When you say multi-dimensional, you can imagine this is 2D array, which is two-dimensional array. Or you can imagine three, uh, 3D, which is you can imagine as a cube format, right? Now when you say two-dimensional array, you can use it for using, let's say, metrics. So let's say if you have, if you are working on some scientific calculation, you have metrics there you can use 2D array, right? So it is so useful, right? Working with multi-dimensional array. So can we do it in Python? Of course we can, right? So it's, it's one of the best language. But here's the thing. If we talk about the array which is available in Python for you, in that you cannot work with multi-dimensional array, unfortunately. Because even if you try for that, example, if I create an array, so let me just remove this, this code from here. Okay, so I'm using, with, I'm using array here, right? And if I want to create an array which is multi-dimensional, I would say ARR is equal to array, and the type of the array will say i, and we want to assign multi-dimensional, right? So the way you do that is by giving multiple square, because if you say one square, that's one row. If you want to have multiple rows, you have to give two square bracket, and each square bracket will have a value. So we'll say one comma, two comma, three, and then we got another array, which is two comma, four comma, five comma, four. So we got two arrays here. So when you combine them, it becomes multi-dimensional array, right? And if I try to print this array here, you can say this will not work. So you can see we got an error here. Okay, so how do we work with multidimensional? Because in array, we don't have that. So the package which we are using here, which is array, does not support multidimensional. And that's where we can use a third party package. And that is your NumPy. Uh, some people say NumPy, it doesn't matter. So we have a package called NumPy and we have to use that. So we can simply say NumPy, instead of, instead of fetching from array package, we will use a NumPy package. Okay, and in NumPy also we can create array. Oh, but we are getting error here. You can see if I go back here, it says unresolved reference NumPy. Uh, spelling mistake? No, it's, it's perfect. What if I say by default NumPy package is not available in Python, you have to install it. You have to, you have to install it manually. Okay, but, but before doing this, let me just go to IDLE. So this is my IDLE and here I want to use that package. Let's try. So I would say import NumPy and you can see we got an error it says NumPy is not a model which is installed so it says no model name NumPy so we need to install it how will you install this so in Python we got this amazing tool called as PIP so you have to use PIP in fact PIP3 here uh, PIP basically stands for it's a recursive it's a recursive full form which is PIP install packages okay so if you want to install any other packages in fact we have a lot of packages available and if you want to install them we have to use PIP uh, so I will go to my command prompt and here I will say PIP3, okay, the version 3, and you need to install NumPy. So you have to say install NumPy. Okay, that's it. Simple command and say enter. It will take some time. Okay, so we'll wait for some time to install it. Okay, you can see it, is, it says NumPy successfully installed because see, I'm doing this for the second time. I already, ha I already had a NumPy. I removed it so that I can, I can, uh, I can type the code here. Uh, but then if you install number for the first time, I guess it will also ask you for the agreement or uh, confirmations. You can simply say yes there. And you can see in this system now we have NumPy. Uh, I will just restart my ideal. And I, I will again type the same things. I will say import NumPy. And you can see there's no errors. That means we have NumPy in the system now. But then it is for, it is for ideally, right? How about uh, PyCharm? So if you want to work with PyCharm with NumPy, you need to install NumPy here as well because you can see we still we are still getting error here. So how do we install NumPy in your uh, PyCharm? To do that, we need to use a shortcut for Windows, which is Control Shift uh, Control Alt S, which is simply going to settings. So we'll say File uh, Settings, and here you need to make sure that you click on Project Test Project or Project or, and your Project colon your Project name. Click on Project Interpreter. 
here you need to install numpy right so you what you what you will do is you will click on this plus symbol and here you have to search for numpy so we got numpy here click on install it's so simple right it just say next 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 everything is done so it is installing it will take some time it also depends upon your internet speed your system speed so it will take some time and you can see it is installed now click on close okay so you can see we got numpy here this one, which is a latest version is 1.15. So that's great. We got the latest version. So NumPy is installed, but it is not referring. Oh, it's working. You can see that you can see we got from NumPy, NumPy import star. And I think it should work, but there's one change here. When you work with NumPy, first of all, let's work with normal array. Okay, it's not that uh, when you have NumPy, you cannot work with single dimensional array. We can. I will just remove this this two dimensional array here. Let's work with one dimensional array just to verify it is working. I will say shift F10. Oh, we got an error. Because in NumPy, we just need to change the way it works. You don't have to actually mention uh, the type here, okay? It is optional. You can you can skip the type and you can see if, if you say F10, it works, right? Uh, so this is how you work with NumPy. Again, we'll use NumPy to work with single dimensional, multi-dimensional, and we'll do some operations as well. But as, at this point, now we know why we need NumPy. Now we know how to install NumPy. And now we know how to create a simple array using NumPy. Uh, and yes, you can still mention the type if you want to. Example, if you want to mention this is int, at the end, just give a comma and say int, okay? So we need to do that as well. I mean, we can do that as well. So let's run this code. Okay, so it still works. So that's how you use NumPy. Uh, so in the, in the subsequent videos, we'll work more on NumPy. So I hope you're enjoying this. Let me know in the comment section. Uh, click on like button if you're enjoying it. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye-bye.